good maze. Oh, you know, outskirts of Liverpool Street there. They got delivered one night. <laughs> I found it on my drive. <laughs> Still on its concrete base. Uh, obviously, the, the two stencils we've added to it. That's not for the two routes into the platform. We've got a little Irish. Yeah. One. We did a tour of Ireland in uh, some long time ago now. We did, I think we did about 40 boxes in about three or four days. Jesus. And most of it was, you know, it was either there in work or gone. You know? Yeah. But we did find a heap of scrap. And there was two of those. And me and my mates, Land Rover. I guess traditionally, they're, they're um, a twist normally, yeah. aren't they? Is it later? I can't remember. Later or the earlier ones were those those time. Yeah. Normally they're like they've got the two plates on and they twist around sideways. Yeah. But they like do have rotator, that as well. Yeah. Uh, lovely. Yeah. Do you ever you come across the Coniston Railway? Have you ever heard of it? I've heard of it. Yeah. There was a uh, Major Hext was his name, and he had a seven and a quarter gauge railway at Coniston. And he died, and eventually there was a, an auction, and I managed to pick that double one up oh. from that. So that obviously reads the two roads if you're coming across the branch. The back, the back blind is coming out this side, don't they? Yeah. Oh no, they do drop, they drop under, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cambridge solenoid dodge. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably clunk when that goes off, and of course, a London Northwestern normal sort of one. So we've had to, there's no way the wires run along the edge of the platform here. Yeah. So, and then that, those obviously two go underground to work though, the London Northwestern two. Otherwise, it'd just be too many trip hazards. There's <laughs> enough trip hazards, yeah. <laughs> That's uh, Stephen's flat over there. There's a new face on it, which we'll get round to one day, I guess. But, uh, um, London Northwestern Rotator. Uh, Midland. Sort of standard Midland Dodd. And that's a GE Rotator, the one for coming out the shed. And then there's loads of spare stuff over the back there, which needs to be... Um... <laughs> the the weather's changed painting. again, hasn't it? I hate... None of my team like painting. <laughs> the door's rotten. It was an inter internal door, so it hasn't lasted all that long. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this is Ilford, 24 lever frames, Westinghouse 17A. Uh, it's had a couple of different, there's been track changes, so the, the things have moved around a bit. And originally it used to be able to switch out on the 10, going to mid position, you could pull off both ways and lock it all up. Uh, but, but you can't switch this one out anymore, mainly because it's gone double track that way. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so it's all, apart from the sidings, it's all track surfaces around here. Uh, CCTV as well. Yeah, just looking out the front. It, it <laughs> you can see what's happening around the front then, yeah. They all say, oh, well, let's get some barriers out the front. I don't think you're going to get that parcel of missus somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so if, if Molewood switched out its key token, if it's switched in, it's absolute block. Block. Although it says March West, and it's, it's around there. And that's for the number seven tablet up to Oak Hale when that gets built. Uh, that's the other end of the blocks that went back to Oakport. Yeah, that is, yeah. I've seen you, you can wire any instrument to any instrument. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty universal. Uh, 
Chinkford line searchlight here. Been restored, waiting for the installation up the top there. But uh, just need a scaffold because it's all getting a bit heavy. So it's fair, fairly heavy. And that's your, that's your interlocking there. Well, that's the original. So the, the, the original interlocking what is all RS type relays. Yeah. And it's, you know, that did pretty much the whole railway. And then we went over to this sort of stuff. And of course it takes up so much room. I'm good, well, I like the cabinets. I like the oh, well, I, I love them, I love them. So apart from a few on the bottom shelf, all that lot's in use. <laughs> uh, it's, it's all a bit rammed in. And, uh, and that was um, Lincoln West Holmes yeah. cabinet. And it was two and a half, two and a termination bit. Ah. And we did get it in all in here. Yeah. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Room in there. So the other bits in the museum. Yeah. Using it as a display. So. Yeah, I right, get the old stove going. It gets, I was going to say, it'd be nice and toasty. Yeah. The old York concentrator there. Don't really need it because you can shout to everybody. <laughs> it's just hand input. Yeah. Most of the time we just use the omnibus phones. And that the York was really just a challenge to get it all going. There's a crossover, so one end motors, and then that if that's successful, the other end motors. motors, and then we get indication back. Right, yeah. So if any end loses indication, you've had it. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah, so. so pretty sort of standard coming in this way because this used to be the single line along here yeah this was just a siding so when it got double tracked this you know it only really sees traffic one way and until we put the branch in then it does see traffic both way but rather than so 22 is the normal in to platform one across here 19 sort of bang road into platform two and 13 is into the shed so 13 and 19 you have to have track h occupied before you can pull them off yeah otherwise it stops you setting up a wrong route and yeah. they come steaming round right, and the cool, drivers yeah. are not exactly au fait with the signaling and we don't want them steaming into the shed with yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> not too far so it's, uh, uh, and if the platforms are occupied you can uh, Overcome the signaling if you or to put it yeah. onto a train, so we can, we can do that. Um, because we got a solenoid signal on the route, there's uh, the distance because that'll auto replace. Yeah. Um, it sends the alarm to put your distance back. And the train's passed. When the train's passed, if that, as soon as that one goes back, obviously. If you, can't mechanically they're all locked up as, as normal for a distance but of course that one can auto re revert so that's on there um, as with most things when you ain't got trains it's difficult to run yeah <laughs> yeah run things so, so what was that line three points more so the will it will it will it will it will it will it nine so this is the Cambridge Let's see if it works first. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Bit of a relay chatter somewhere. Yeah, that's it. Now that'll have to time out of course. <laughs> <coughs> and some of these thermal timers are so temperamental. Yeah. Especially if not been used for a while. Oh, bloody no, yeah. That's brilliant. We'll see. find Mr. Pike in here because it's uh, is, is away from the people. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he likes just to sit down. It's a little bit box. So, 
So when it's switched in, it's miniature staff. Yeah. Down, down the hill. And round to Beacon Hill on the block. There's about one of every type of block instrument, didn't there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no two ends of the same. Same. And uh, so to switch it, so to switch it out, which it is at the moment, switch it out. Although all the signal have been replaced, just to stop them stretching. I have to get the staff out that's got an annex lock on it. Yes. To go into this lock, switch out, and then you can get the key token out of there, which is out of that lock. Yeah. Put it in the intermediate machine, and that puts the keys back in phase. <laughs> Keeps you busy. Oh yeah, it's all good fun. All good fun. For the last bit of the um, signal box open closed, for the remote operator's got to go in here. Got the plunger ready for it. Because normally you need both signal at each end to plunge, yes. so you can get that out. Whereas it will be on on the remote if, from one if end. There, switched to closed. It will work if you're open. Yeah. To get in. You know. um, yeah, so there's not much to the box. <laughs> well, it's, a, really. it's a lovely sized box. Yeah. Oh, really, cabinet again? Yes. Interesting. S and T linesman's addresses. Yeah. Seen a few. Alistair's got one as well. Yeah. Yeah. The quadrants come from Richard Pike, and I think one of the Eden boxes. Um, the shaft came from in a bit of the shaft out at Ingotstone, and I think the uprights come from somewhere else. So it's all. All a bit of cough. So, the, so over there it's SGE locks. Yes. And these are Westinghouse. Yes. L's in here, and okay, it will be L's as well, purely because that's what we've got. Uh, yeah. There you go. Like, you know, bracket signal on the do on the dryer. Yeah. Or in being played, that's that's what you get. Dolls. Yeah. Good. Southern pneumatic signal. So we use air for the steaming up of the locos. Yes. So we've got air, so that's pneumatic. Um, sort of standard, well, the tall version, the tall bodied version. And that's got the typical Midland slot. On the back. The roller there, yeah. Yes. Just here for that. <clears throat> so one's worked from uh, Oakhanger, yeah, and one's from there. So they're both. On the, so the end. This is. <laughs> it's normally a dark signal, black yeah. signal. <clears throat> but if this is if we've, we've pulled off from here, it's starting signal. Then that'll read what the next one's doing. Right. But otherwise, it because it, it only reads yellow. It's like an approach lit. Yeah, it, if, if this was, it'd be confusing to the driver. Yeah, yeah. It's everything's confusing to drive. <laughs> Stevens should have the, the lamp should be on a windlass. Yes, and goes up and down. Up yeah, this rail. We've got the wheel, but we've never got round to. Difficulty. We've got to make one. And the only one I've ever seen was at uh, the Scottish Railway Museum in whatever railway. Oh, Bowness. Bowness in Keneal. And it was up the top. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well out of the way. And the windlass was padlocked up. Nobody could find the key oh. to get it to come down. So it's just got a temporary, temporary thing on it at the moment. So. Mind you, it's been temporary for probably 10 years. So the somersault is part of... Uh, Moldwood's yes. signaling system. I may take it out actually for brown Yeah. 
people sort of don't, they're not looking up there. And we've had, we have had incidences of people not stopping there. So it may, may get changed. So this is all under construction, isn't it? Although all the signalling works, but none of it's in slot at the moment. So this is the existing Beacon Hills. This just used to be a siding. Yeah. So 18 to signal out to the siding. Again, it's um, another one, a good maze. It was a ground search line. That is as it came. Yeah. That just sat in the ballast, leaning over at an angle. So that, that was it. So that's, we'll go once this gets all permissioned. At the moment, all the points are uh, hand, just hand operated, yeah. but they've all been motorised, apart from the, the split of the two sidings over there, that point will remain hand. Yeah. Nice LNER one, but it's been shortened. It was just round the ground, didn't it? It's had, had a bit cut out. Another one sit behind it. Ah, right, sighting. I'm not sure if it's Hartford East or Enfield Town. In case right, it's so either Hartford East or Enfield Town. I always get a bit mixed up. GN Rotator. Going to say, what's the purposes of the box on the bottom? Well, the so the lever. Oh, it's got a, a cam cam in there. It's doing that. So right. The lever's doing that. Sort of thing. And that will be the semi the. That searchlight head that's sitting in Beacon Hill is destined to go on there. This will be the this will basically be the platform road and this will yeah. be the run round road. Although you can leave these away. Um, it's just running out of room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm still not sure what else to put on it to say you're going down the head shunt or into the sidings. So we've got various options of bits and bobs there. Uh, Cheshire lines, ground signal. Very small lamp case. I'm gonna say. And very little to the post as well, it's just. Yeah, it's very slender. But unfortunately, the weights have well and truly rusted on. Yeah. And there's far too much weight on it. <laughs> I might well cut it off, sort it out, and roll it back on again. Now we've got the Metropolitan Ground Signal, which we made a pattern for the arm. Yes. And uh, that. And then we've got this is the Lingwood slot. Are you going to see any articles? No. It's, uh, there was an article in the Signaling Records Society on it, and it was where at Lingwood there was two level crossings with one distant, but the distant was too far away for the further crossing to work it. Yeah. So basically, they had to pull off in the right order and when it's correct, the this one drops and it engages on here, and then when it's when this is pulled, it will pull the signal. If, if, if anyone rever release, reverses, it'll drop out of there and fly back. Got you. So construction hopefully get the roof on it roofs the next stage so so what will this one be called this is oak hanger this is oak hanger box because it's got oak hangers frame in it ah right yeah so 
I've got the, the roof ready to go on. I just need the mate to come round to help us do it. Help you do it. Um, hopefully, we've got enough slate. <laughs> so how many levers will it will it have inside? It's 16 and it'll have 15 working. Right. Basically for a siding. <laughs> yes, yeah. If you can, why not? Yeah. Um, so to save room, we've got a sector plate at the end. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's locked. So it's around the houses to lock itself. Yeah. And there's a going on here. Very sweet. Ooh. So, that's, that's nice. And then that goes back to a normal detector. So the for the frame, signal box. So the frame can lock, make sure it's locked. That's the first time I've ever seen a detector coming at an angle. Yeah. Was it ever done like that anywhere at all in the main line? Yeah, Obviously done by making this thinner. And these guide plates are on yeah. here to... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing... That does the job. See, yeah, so it goes through at an angle. But yeah, it does the job. That's the thing, isn't it? We'll take the cover off of that. Um, of course, when I bought it, one thing I didn't, I didn't, just didn't know anything about it. And it turns out, of course, it's a six-inch pitch frame, which means it's getting longer. Yeah. And the throw, they come right over, which means oh, not much room you know, the not much, there's no room in the back. So if I probably knew all that, I wouldn't have bought it. Yeah. You know, I'm used to frames where the levers end up sort of here, and that would have given you more yeah. room to do something. As a consequence, we've had to make the box longer to get some sort of social area up that end, because yeah. you can't put anything... And the relays will be up that end. Be that top end. Yeah. In there will be the other number seven tablet instrument. Yeah. You're in the doorway. So it'll be window, 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 and the rest of it. But it's boxed in. It's a lovely frame. All brand new? All recovered wood? Yeah, most of the recovered wood came from next door's roof extension. <laughs> yeah. And then so and then I've had to buy, you know. A bit of framing. A bit of the framing. Again, it'll be um Electric locks, horizontal, under there. So got the steel working for it. And there's two 12 core cables go back to Beacon Hill, which hopefully will be enough. Yeah. Because it's really just the block and the telephone. Board. Very easy to get out spring boxes on the bottom. Yeah. Interesting frame. I don't know if you know the history of the frame. No. So it was... Oak Hangel is a Longmore military railway. Right. So and they got this frame. There's a maker's plate on the end. Yeah. It had a king lever. Yes. Number eight. And the locks locks in doors. But it's one of those funny Yale type railway signal co ones. So yes. Not sure how we've actually got to link it all up. There was some issue with um, after the war it was too they were too lax with the level crossing and they needed to make the frame bigger to yeah. work the crossing. So these typical army or navy they made the extra four levers but these are all brass. It's all brass. Because they oh, yeah. they could cast you know, Admiral T-type. Yeah, yeah. Just get it done, can't so, Yeah. One oh, more yeah. quadrant, or, or those four quadrants are cast in brass. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Yeah, I had to make a new one. There was one missing. So I had to make a new one for the end there. So one and two are the, the signals coming in, depending yeah. on what platform you're coming into. They will be released by locking the sector plate in the appropriate position. And so they're slotted here underneath the frame. Yeah. And then it's slotted on the signal again. Itself. As to which one. Oh, yeah. Well, you can't see it. That's it. Right over there, isn't it? 
Oh. We've got something else caught up with it. Oh, I think we just. Um... Oh, it's the uh, the milepost. Yeah. Oddly enough, first time I've ever seen catch handles stamped with a pattern number. Yeah, everything's got a everything's number. Got on. numbers on. Yeah. And there's a little series of numbers. The first number all being the same, and then the actual. But they, apart from that, we think they might have made a one frame as a little demonstration frame. Yes. The only frame this firm ever made. Really? So. And yeah, it's a lovely looking frame. It's got plenty, of, plenty of space between the levers. And yeah. Reasonable pitch, and it's it's not that wide on the the, the, the casting on the end is very yeah. small as well. It's just the throw of the levers that make it yeah. take up a lot of room. We fitted uh, what I call. Northeastern standard locking trays. Yeah. Um, the original trays are on it were quite deep and uh, totally impractical. 